Hello and welcome to Everyday Mystic, an aid to your spiritual growth. Tony Robbins defines self-discipline as the ability to control your thoughts, emotions, and actions in order to achieve a desired outcome. He believes that self-discipline is not something that you are born with, but rather a skill that you can develop through practice and repetition. One of the main points that Robbins makes about self-discipline is that it requires a clear and compelling vision of what you want to achieve. He suggests that you should start by setting clear and specific goals, and then focus on the actions that will help you achieve them. By having a clear vision of what you want, you can stay motivated and focused, and avoid distractions and temptations that might derail your efforts. Another important point that Robbins makes about self-discipline is that it requires a commitment to taking action, even when you don't feel like it. He suggests that you should cultivate a mindset of do it anyway, which means that you take action even when you don't feel motivated, confident, or certain of the outcome. By developing this habit, you can build momentum and create a sense of accomplishment that can fuel your motivation and help you stay disciplined over the long term. Robbins also emphasizes the importance of consistency in developing self-discipline. He suggests that you should focus on making small changes and building habits that you can sustain over time. By starting small and gradually increasing the difficulty and intensity of your efforts, you can avoid burnout and stay motivated over the long term. In order to apply Robbins' teachings on self-discipline to your own life, there are several strategies that you can use. First, you can start by setting clear and specific goals for yourself, and then breaking them down into smaller, manageable steps. By focusing on the actions that will help you achieve your goals, you can avoid feeling overwhelmed or discouraged by the size of the task at hand. Another strategy that you can use is to cultivate a positive mindset and focus on your strengths and successes. Robbins suggests that you should develop a habit of celebrating your successes, no matter how small they may seem. By focusing on your strengths and accomplishments, you can build confidence and motivation that can help you stay disciplined over the long term. In addition to these strategies, there are several practical steps that you can take to build self-discipline in your daily life. For example, you can start by developing a consistent routine and schedule, and sticking to it as much as possible. By creating a structure and routine for your day, you can reduce distractions and stay focused on your goals. Another practical step that you can take is to eliminate sources of temptation and distraction from your environment. For example, if you are trying to eat healthier, you might remove junk food from your pantry and stock up on healthy snacks instead. By removing sources of temptation from your environment, you can make it easier to stay disciplined and avoid giving in to impulse or temptation. Finally, one of the most important things that you can do to build self-discipline is to stay motivated and inspired. Robbins suggests that you should seek out sources of inspiration and motivation, whether that means reading books, listening to podcasts, or surrounding yourself with supportive people. By staying motivated and inspired, you can maintain your focus and discipline, even in the face of challenges and setbacks. In order to stick to the habit of being disciplined, there are several additional strategies that you can use. One of the most important is to track your progress and hold yourself accountable for your actions. By keeping track of your progress and holding yourself accountable, you can stay motivated and focused on your goals, and avoid falling back into old habits. Another strategy that you can use to stick to the habit of being disciplined is to surround yourself with supportive people who share your goals and values. By building a community of like-minded individuals who support and encourage each other, you can create a positive and empowering environment that makes it easier to stay disciplined and focused. Finally, it's important to remember that building self-discipline is a process that takes time and effort. You may encounter setbacks and challenges along the way, but it's important to stay committed to your goals and keep pushing forward. By staying focused, motivated, and disciplined, you can achieve the success and fulfillment that you desire. In conclusion, Tony Robbins' teachings on self-discipline offer valuable insights and strategies for anyone who wants to achieve their goals and transform their life. By setting clear goals, taking consistent action, and staying motivated and inspired, you can build the self-discipline that is essential for success in any area of life. That's it for today. 
If you want to read more about our journey, our discoveries along the way and the observations that we've made about the world, spirituality, Christianity and the human condition, please visit our blog. If you want to support our channel, you are welcome to buy an item from one of our shops. You will find links to all of this in the comments section and in the description. Also, please like, subscribe, comment and share the video. And hit the notification bell, so that YouTube notifies you of new videos. Thank you for your time.